As you are funneled by the crowd, you pass on your ride away from the harbor a pavilion with a, 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 a several score of very dejected individuals on it. There's a sign on top of them next to it that says departures. Some of them are wounded, kind of staring at their hands, crestfallen. Um, in the on the corner of the pavilion, you spot a handful of coffins. I'm going to the wounded people immediately. Um, their their wounds appear to have been capably dressed, but if you if you want to check, feel free. Yeah, I, I, if they if I glance over and they appear to have received medical attention, then I won't I won't stick around. Just making sure no one opened themselves back up, essentially, right? Yeah, or you know, if somebody was rushed and did something wrong or whatever. I follow the doctor. No, I... they're um all of their bandaging and uh, physicaring king appears to have been done by a competent professional. Uh, much better than most of these gentlemen could have afforded. Mm, I will give them each a healing drought, actually, since I can actually make as many of those as I want, and you can only affect each person once for a long rest. Okay. And you're never going to see these people again. Yeah. Probably. So he he again like shoves his arm down to the elbow in the bag and kind of rustles around. And he pulls out like a brace, basically a six pack of um of like red, <laughs> red, um, red, yellow, and orange liquid vials. Kind of like a little caddy. Yes, Doc- actually, they're they're Dr. in like Dr. Sante's a... cold ones. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna kind of you know approach each of them and be like, ah, well, uh, hello, um, I uh, condolences uh, for your misfortune, but I wish to um offer you uh, uh, a medical supplement of my own devising that should help your wounds uh, find themselves on the mend more quickly. Um, a, a, a bunch of the men are kind of uh, kind of sketched out and uh, generally mistrustful. And then um, one one guy who um, has, a, has a bloody eye patch and is, uh, and is wearing a, a vest says in, says, in, says in a Lindian accent, can't you tell by his vest he's a damn doctor? Flattered, right? And, and, and stands up and uh, takes one of the things and he goes, won't do shit for the eye, right? And takes a, takes a swig of it and starts moving a, his bandaged shoulder around. Not doing shit for his eye. Um, he, he appears to be missing an eye, Dylan. <laughs> Uh, yeah. um, but give it, his, give it to um, him and smile and, and he's kind of generally he's happy around his shoulder and he's like yeah better and then everyone else kind of thanks and you kind of feel the feel the gratitude uh and good feels generally go down on you so you've at the, at the least let some pain off people but all right well gentlemen i hope you all uh, recover swiftly and without complication if you'll excuse me i need to go uh to the arrivals desk in, in three languages and about seven accents, you hear some variation of thanks, Doc. <laughs> um, on the way past, I will uh, stop at the coffins to say uh, a quick word for their parting that the Shining One may uh, may bring them into his um, radiant embrace and um, they may find new purpose. You you notice on e- each of the coffins a- appears to... Um... I'm sorry, the... the... It's not that distracting. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just easily distracted. He's, no, he's just having a good old time saying that he's a bird over in the corner <laughs> for like the last five minutes. <laughs> You're to do that. That's fine. Um, it, it, it looks like a couple. At, at first, you're kind of outraged because on top of the coffins, there's literally like a, a just a shrouded body laying there. And you, um, the second you start to get angry about it, you notice some um, some papers draped around it, where it's obviously a kind of obscure tribal religion that um, only uh, lets that uh, only has their dead uh, exposed to the elements to decompose. Oh, oh, oh! So there's that's, different that's, there's different forms of uh, burial here. Um, the, Usually, it's it's the more common ones, but um, y- y- you realize that whoever's doing rights for these people is um, well educated and has the means to care about different people's uh, requests and not just hmm. pauper graving everybody. Nice, that's wonderful. And they also appear to be waiting to be shipped out instead of just digging a hole on the random island they died on. There are eerily, distressingly similar pavilions awaiting you as you get to the end of the press of humanity and reach position labeled arrivals you're except there are more pavilions there are about five and at at one of them you see a gentleman talking to a group of men and you are funneled into one about three slots across from that with about 20 other people you are then at that point left alone for about 45 minutes you, uh, you get the gist of what's going to happen, though, because 
The same well-dressed gentleman walks up in front of each group of pavilions, talks for a while, and then there's some sort of handing of some sort of things out you can't see very clearly. That goes on for a while until finally you are approached. As as this is going on, you kind of notice that the, the people around you are kind of... Let's call them salt of the earth people. Um, you can. It, it appears that what everyone with a with a dream, a knife, and enough money to buy to buy a cheap steerage position has uh, tried to get themselves to this island. The b- petty bureaucrat who walks up to you and the, the the group that you find yourself cluttered into appears weary. Um, his his shoulders are sagged and his. He, he's just tired, and he he doesn't like dealing with these sort of people. Good afternoon, you fellas. My name is David DeArnoldson, Esquire. Ah, oh, you don't care. All right, this is how this is going to work. My duke, out of the generosity of his mind, you may have heard of him. The Comet of the North, Dragon's Bane, Pont of Arleon, has decided that he is going to find himself a worthy baron. Now, don't don't get too proud here. None of y'all is the sort that can win this on your own. Luckily, he's been uh, practicing some weird revolutionary governing practices, and he can split this title up to five ways. So y'all look around, find some other knaves that seem to be, I don't know, unlikely to stab you. <sighs> At any rate. Oh, thank you. You may have been under the impression that this was going to be some sort of tournament. Tournaments are for knights. <laughs> What this is going to be is a bit of hell interspersed with a bit of actually making some good for yourselves. You see, this island was coded in mist two weeks ago when my duke decided to claim it as his domain. Now, what that means is around the island, there's all sorts of monsters that your nannies warned you about. Hmm. To anybody who can clear off areas of this island and make it habitable, we will, and he holds up a, a small necklace, we will grant a certain amount of favor. We will track you with a number on this necklace. I'm going to hand you this to you. Do not lose this. If you lose it, you're done. If you go more than a day without getting some amount of favor, and the amount of days you've been here is less than the amount of favor you've gotten, you're done. At that point, you kind of remember the dejected fellows sitting next to the pier in the departures column. Now, as far as the rules go, this is still going to be a place of law under th- penalty of punishment, just as you were within any other part of my lord's domain. You are not to attack or to thieve from any of other your contestants or any of my lord's men. All right. Seems straightforward. Uh, yeah, yes, it seems straightforward enough. Um, you, this is kind of weird. You kind of, there's a couple of men around there who kind of two legs click together and you can tell they just realize that their brilliant plan of ambushing people has uh, just been dashed to cinders. Um, <laughs> you kind of make a mental note of uh, who those people are and move on. Yeah, that's that's good knowledge to have. Get wrecked, knaves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having I'm having hot dog difficulty right now. No, hot difficulties. <laughs> no, hot dog difficulty. Hot dog difficulties. Dog difficulties. Hot dog difficulty. I think that's the, that's the best one. Yeah. Dog difficulties. No, my lord, out of the goodness of his heart, wanted to make sure that all of you are aware you are about to do something dangerous and foolish. Want to make sure that if you want to go home, all you have to do is sit around on your ass for a couple days and we'll kick you right off his property. I don't have any intention of going home, personally. Uh, I, I don't either, so... It is a kindness, though, for those who find they're not cut out to this sort of work. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. So at that point, he start, uh, people start kind of grouping up. You notice some, some chittering, and it gets kind of uncomfortably high school gym class in here. I'm not going to bother reaching for a medieval fantasy metaphor where you see, you see clicks start to form. Um, so re- revelation, um, you, you, you're here to be part of this contest ultimately, correct? Uh, if I'm here, I'm going to participate. Yes. You uh, said you were looking for a comet under an ocean, right? That's why I'm here because we, we know of that title. That was the connection made that sent me here. I, I want to be very clear that I knew that coming in. This is not a anyway. I'm sorry. Uh, but yes, I'm here to participate. Uh, fair, fair. Well, I'm. I, I would like very much to fight uh, d- along alongside you. If if you you'd have me, I'm. I'm a skilled. Uh, murder yes, of course. Guard. 
uh, uh, an honored uh, guard like yourself would be most welcome. Oh, I said. Certainly a guard. Oh, well, I've certainly heard plenty of tales of your uh, uh, skill in combat yeah, and the men that you have bested in, uh, in such. So uh, I would, if you would have me be more than pleased to uh, throw my lot in with the two or perhaps three of you. Oh, I'm going with her. I had presumed as much. You Do were we want a to doctor, <laughs> after all. I And uh, well, glad am I for it. Do we want to find a fifth from the group? I don't know any of them, but I think that the four of us should be able to manage fine. Well, if we if we split it four ways, there's more for each. As an aside, and I'm going to... Uh, obviously, there are out of character reasons why I'm not just going to have a GMPC in here, because that's lame behavior. But um, as, a, as an in-character note... Um, Splitting titles is very rare, but if you split titles, um, there is much less power to go around. And um, for four is kind of, like five is going right out on a Baron level title. Um, four, you're, it, it's not going to be shattering quite as much, and you can share equally, especially if you all specialize different aspects of the title. Um, so you're, it's, it, it's much more than the difference between a fourth and a fifth, how much the power would downgrade if you included a fifth. So if you guys want to have that as an in-character reason on why you're not collecting a GMPC here, that's fine. At least that my thought is that, it, well, if we have a need of a fifth necessarily, we should try to avoid it. That way there is a greater share for each. I, I tend to agree. Works for me. Uh, so yes. At, at, at first, after the steward made his uh, his uh, declaration about suggesting most of you rabble uh, get up in groups, you guys are hot ticket items among the people around you. But you notice as you guys start to talk to each other and kind of circle up, every, every pavilion that you've seen so far had a number of people who at the end of the speech immediately adopted the crestfallen attitude of the people of the Departures Bay who just kind of gave up when they realized how deep of shit they were in. And, and your group had a much higher percentage of people who immediately adopted that attitude. As you look around, you, re you realize you're pretty sure it's because of the blistering competence that you four appear to portray compared to the, to the rabble that everyone else is. Like, you guys aren't um, somebody who is using a particularly large kitchen knife as a sword with, um, with pants attached by a rope, as many of the ones around you see. You guys have equipment, and you're walking like people who know how to use it. And that immediately dejects a lot of the people in the in the pavilion with you when uh, they kind of realize that um, you guys aren't looking for a fifth. I'll take it. Ed. I would rather them realize now they're not cut out for this uh, than have them suffer. Is I'm there anyone who it. doesn't look crestfallen yet who also doesn't look like they can handle it? So... Is there any idiots, essentially, who are still like, yeah, I can do it? Oh, oh um, um, no, actually. Um, one okay. of the, so it was happening on the other side of the pavilion from you, so you didn't really get all of it. There was this one guy dressed in clothes a little bit nicer, a lot nicer than what everybody else is wearing. Um, he has a, like a, a, a red linen vest on, and the guy is built like someone who... He, he's built like a weightlifter, which is strange because nobody has, um, you know, protein supplements or weights. Um, th this guy is just jacked. And next to him, you see the annoying noble that you guys shared a ride with. But this this jacked guy is just being a total asshole to a number of other guys. Um, you, you, he's being kind of quiet about it, though. He's keeping his voice down and just he is standing chest to face on a um, on, an, on another distinctly uncomfortable looking person and putting putting his head right up to to, to the guy's ear and just muttering un unseemly loudly as you guys kind of out of curiosity come a little bit closer you hear him saying things like uh, I hate some. you're not cut out for this. <laughs> how about listen I'll give you a job I a lot of people like chambermaids I don't like them you see I like to look at a man and know he's only good for carrying my shit. Uh, Chambermaid, there's always the question where maybe you're fucking him on the side. <laughs> no, you, I need you to know every day <laughs> the only <laughs> thing you do is carry my shit. Can uh, I help? Yes, you can, sir. You see, uh... He kind of turns, up, turns around and he acts completely different. Um, good afternoon. 
good to see everyone around here isn't some sort of bugged up peasant who who, who thinks they uh, have some ambition in them. And he extends a hand out to shake your hand. Oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, no, sir. I wasn't speaking with you. And I, I turned to the gentleman that he was harassing. Can I help you, sir? Mel Gear is like, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm all right. And he kind of sits over and kind of nudges over, but he, he kind of walks at an angle to both of you. So you're in between the two of them and then kind of sits down on the ground. Fender of the downtrodden. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's good. I was just wanting to make sure. I know that a long voyage, especially for people that aren't used to it, can turn all sorts of attitudes. I, I feel it's just really important um, that we all um, understand that maybe we have uh, uh, tempers flaring and whatnot, but that, uh, of course, this is a sportsmanlike um, endeavor and that that sort of behavior or attitude is going to be uh, an issue. And I really don't want to have any issues with any of you lovely people, sir. No bills come up in. So the, um, the, the guy st- sticks his tongue up against his uh, teeth and inhales slowly. I'm not the kind of man to make threats he doesn't intend to keep, so... Oh, good. I'm not either. I think either. I'm just going to stop the conversation at this point. And he goes and talks to uh, to the, the, the noble from earlier, <laughs> who he has a different sort of interactions with. They're kind of, it, it seems like a kind of a strange dynamic, but they're just, they're just kind of, of chatting in the corner while the steward is handing out those necklaces. Um, I'm going to turn to the, to the, the guy who's sitting like on the curb and looking sad. He's, if, if you need to uh, leave for any reason, know that none of us will think any less of you. And if that gentleman attempts anything untoward or makes any threat upon you or your person or your well-being, I understand we are not in a, a group, as it were, but I will not stand for that. And I wish you to know that. He, he, he kind of looks up and he's like, thanks, thanks. And then he just kind of stares at his hands. The, um, so behind you, you hear the uh, the gruff voice you were listening to prattle on earlier. Well said, ma'am. Are you four then? Um, and the, the steward standing behind you holding <clears throat> holding a, an armful of the necklaces. I suppose so, yes, sir. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. All right, so he, he's kind of making notes, and he's like, all right, now, you guys aren't going to go back on this. Um, if, if I hand you four of these necklaces, it's going to be you four winning or losing. You're okay with that? Uh, yes. All right. All right, well, good luck. I would uh, acclimate yourselves to the surroundings and talk around some before I just uh, wandered off into the woods. That seems wise. Of course, wise. of course. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, well, good luck. I'll skip, I'll skip most of the rest of the talk that I give to most of the ambitious idiots. You guys don't look like you need it. And then he walks off. Uh, thank you. I could have used a little bit of a talk at least to know where things are, but I suppose we'll find it's out. Okay. We'll uh, ask he, around. He, uh, he, he, he turns around, actually. He goes, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so if you, um, if, if, you, if you go down the street, here, um, there's, um, there's a couple of meeting houses. Um, luckily, somebody just came up with a wonderful still, so they're serving this sort of... We, we had mostly weak beer, but now we've got a, uh, a sort of fortified beer. It's, it's proven quite popular with everybody. But um, So you're going to find that down there, um, and then there is a another forum further down where people just kind of uh, trade equipment that they thought they would need that they didn't for things that they didn't think they need, but they did um, so yeah, you'll find those down the street. Um, I would, I would, I would skip the second though. It's, it's mostly profiteers. Listen, I, I kind of appreciate what you said to that guy, so I'll let you know. Listen, there's three kinds of people on this island you're gonna find right now. And four. Let's call it four. You've got contenders like y'all, fools, profiteers, and my lord's men. Now most of the people you're gonna find in that form trading around are gonna be either profiteers or fools, and you don't want no part of either of them. Hmm. All right. Is there any signification to indicate uh, your lord's um, men? Um, he is wearing black and red livery, as are a bunch of everybody. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> the um, the um, so a lot of the footmen are just wearing uh, livery, or is it livery? I can never remember. But um, I, I, dude, I work at Renfair, and I don't know, so okay. don't feel bad. <laughs> um, but the the steward, as well as several other people, are also also bear a, a crest on their chest, which is a comet falling from the sky with the vague shape of wings and a tail visible in it. Makes sense. 
Anyway, which is red on a field of black, incidentally. Uh, thank you very much for your generous advice. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you very much, Master Darnelson. Much appreciated. Good note taker, bro. David's good like that. He writes down people's names. So we should probably uh, check out this uh, public house then, shouldn't we? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I, I believe we, uh, we I should if that's amenable. Just um, sure. just to be sure, because I've never uh, stayed at an inn with any of you um, very long, or at least not not on, on journeys, uh, neither, none of you are of the habit of becoming overly intoxicated and losing all your belongings, correct? Oh, certainly not. And if mm, someone no. were to do so, I have a salve for just such a thing. Oh, all right. Very popular. Well, that's Excellent. good to know. Um, good. I just like to be sure that I'm going to wake up and still have items in the morning. Um, no, no. Not overly intoxicated. Just enough. I try to avoid this stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Just enough. All okay. right. Shall we? Uh, yes, let's let us then. All right. So we're going to head to the public house and find out what's there next, next. time. Bye. Bye. See you guys next time.